On October 6th, voters in Portugal will have the opportunity to elect the 230 members of the Portuguese legislature, the Constituent Assembly. Of those 230 MPs, the autonomous regions of Madeira and the Azores elect 6 and 5 MPs respectively. Elections have taken place since the 25th of April 1975, one year after the Carnation Revolution and the end of the dictatorial Estado Novo regime. The Social Democratic Party, PSD Partido Social Democrata, the Social Democratic Party, is, despite what their name would suggest, a center-right liberal conservative party. Alongside the socialists, they're one of the two dominant post-Carnation Revolution political parties. It was founded in 1974 as the PPUD, Partido Popular Democrático, the Democratic People's Party, a party which would implement what they called, quote, social democracy in a Portuguese way. This was meant as a balancing act between the center-left ideology and Portugal's mostly traditionalist society, drawing on Catholic humanist philosophy and European social liberalism. The PSD was particularly dominant in Portuguese politics between the mid-1980s and the 1990s, a time in which its government program incorporated elements of Thatcherism and Reaganomics. A key legacy of this period was the acceleration of the party's shift to the right of the political spectrum, shaping its current liberal conservative identity, contrary to some of its founding ideals. As such, the PSD today remains a big, albeit shrinking, tent, incorporating liberals, conservatives, and social democrats. PSD, in coalition with the Centro Democrático Social, came into power most recently after forcing the collapse of the socialist government as the 2008 economic crisis was aggravated. It oversaw most of the austerity program implemented following the Troika bailout. This made it a rather unpopular government, particularly as it went above and beyond the austerity measures demanded in some cases, and left it subject to the biggest public demonstrations since 1974. As such, a weakened PSD coalition went into the 2015 election. The subsequent minority government lasted for only 26 days. This was the shortest government in the current republic, after which the current PS government took office. The party advocates for economic liberalism, the privatization of public services, while still supporting a smaller welfare state, lowering taxes, and further European integration. Socially, the PSD remains mostly conservative, opposing LGBT plus rights and inclusion, for example, in the context of same-sex marriage and adoption, and opposing the decriminalization of voluntary euthanasia. PSD's current leader is Rui Ryu. He's a long-standing member of the party, having been part of its youth wing. He's held several prominent positions in the PSD over the years and was a member of the Assembly of the Republic, the Portuguese Parliament, for most of the 1990s. He's best known for his lengthy tenure as mayor of Porto, Portugal's second biggest city, after leaving the Assembly. At the European level, PSD was previously a long-standing member of the liberal Eurogroup ELDR's respective party and parliamentary group, the ancestors of ALDE and Renew Europe. Since 1996, it's been a member of the dominant center-right European political party, the European People's Party, and sits with that group in the European Parliament. The Socialist Party, PS Partido Socialista, the Socialist Party, is a center-left social democratic party. It's been one of the two dominant Portuguese political parties since the Carnation Revolution in 1974. The party was founded shortly before the revolution by the clandestine organization Axial Socialista Portuguesa. Since its founding, the party already championed a non-Marxist strand of social democracy, advocating for the reform of a capitalist economic system. The party has led six governments, two of which were formal coalitions. They led a short-lived one with the CDS in 1978 and entered a grand coalition known as the Central Bloc with the center-right PSD between 1983 and 1985. The party's currently in power, albeit in a minority government through a confidence and supply arrangement, which is largely unprecedented in Portuguese politics. This is unusual, both because it was the first election where the party or coalition with the most seats isn't part of the government, and also because it was the first government coalition where the Socialist Party sought support from other left-wing parties. This arrangement is colloquially known as the Geringonça, which connotes instability. The term has since become mainstream and largely neutral as the government finishes its current term. The Socialist Party is a conventional social democratic party. 
It's socially liberal, supports a strong welfare state, and opposes austerity measures. It's also in favor of further European integration. Its current leader and prime minister is the 58-year-old lawyer Antonio Costa. He started his political career in 1991 as a member of the Assembly of the Republic, having also served as a minister in various socialist governments. He was also briefly an MEP between 2004 and 2005. He's best known as the popular mayor of Lisbon. He was first elected mayor in 2007 and would remain uncontested until 2015 when he decided to resign in order to start his campaign for the 2015 parliamentary elections. On the European level, the Socialist Party is a member of the Party of European Socialists and its MEPs sit with the Progressive Alliance of Socialist and Democrats group in the European Parliament. Left Bloc, BE Bloco de Esquerda, Left Bloc, is a left-wing party. The party came into being as an explicit force to ameliorate a long-standing issue of division within the Portuguese left. It was founded in 1999 through the merger of three left-wing parties, the Trotskyist Partido Socialista Revolucionario, the Marxist União Democrática Popular, and the Socialist Política Vinteum. That same year, the BE was able to elect two members to the Assembly of the Republic. Notably, in 2009, BE was the first left-wing party to earn a higher vote share than the long-standing left-wing CDU coalition, becoming the main left-wing force in Portugal. In the 2015 general election, BE had its best result, electing 19 MPs. The left bloc is a democratic socialist party, promoting socially liberal policies such as advocating for LGBT plus and feminist inclusion through, for example, gender-neutral language, voluntary euthanasia, the legalization of soft drugs, a more open internal policy on immigration and a green economy. It fiercely opposes austerity and supports the strengthening of the welfare state. While BE supports EU membership, it's in favor of altering its more economically liberal policies and champions a more socially solidaristic model. They position themselves as a progressive alternative to the socially conservative Marxist-Leninist party, the PCP. Their current leader is the 46-year-old actress and politician Katarina Martins. Since her rise to the leadership in 2014, the party has gradually gained internal cohesion and has aligned with the ideas advocated by the New Left movement, strongly supporting socially liberal policies. While Bloco de Esquerda is a member of the Party of the European Left, it's also one of the founding members of the Now the People movement, a new splinter group from the Party of the European Left. It sits with the European United Left Nordic Green Left Group. The Democratic and Social Center People's Party, CDS PP. CDS PP is a center right to right wing conservative party. The party was founded in 1974 when the Centro Democrático e Social, Democratic and Social Center, was created as a centrist Christian Democratic Party. However, due to the predominance of left-wing political parties in Portuguese politics which followed the Carnation Revolution, CDS quickly gained major support from the traditionalist and conservative cohorts, as well as from people sympathetic to the Estado Novo regime. This gradually shifted the party to the right side of the political spectrum. During the first four years of the Third Republic, CDS became the main party in opposition. However, in 1979, the CDS joined its first government in coalition with the PPD, PSD, and the right-wing monarchist party, PPM, Partido Popular Monarchico. However, this government would end shortly after the 1980 Camarate air crash incident, which would take the life of the coalition's prime minister. In 1992, new leadership shifted the party towards a more national conservative, Eurosceptic, and populist platform, to the detriment of their centrist democrat and EU federalist roots. Centro Democrático e Social, rebranded as the CDS Partido Popular, inspired in part by Spain's Partido Popular. From 2011 to 2015, CDS PP was the junior party in a center-right government led by the PSD. It supports a significant reduction of taxation, a more free and competitive market, and a tougher stance with regard to law and order. On social issues, it stands against abortion rights, same-sex marriage and adoption, 
the depenalization of voluntary euthanasia, and the legalization of soft drugs such as cannabis. They support the European Union, but oppose any further integration. The party's current leader is the 44-year-old lawyer and professor Asuncion Cristas. She joined the party in 2007 and was elected two times as an MP. In 2011, she joined the PSD-CDSPP government as the Minister of Agriculture, Rural Development, and Fisheries, and also as Minister for the Environment and Territorial Planning. In 2016, she was elected the leader of the CDSPP and re-elected in 2018. The party rejected the Maastricht Treaty, deeming it too federalist, which would lead to its expulsion from the European People's Party. Since 1994, the CDSPP has sat with the conservative Eurosceptic groups, namely the European Democratic Alliance, Union for Europe, and Union for Europe of the Nations, and then rejoining the EPP group and party, the Unitary Democratic Coalition, CDU. Coligação Democrática Unitária, the Unitary Democratic Coalition in English, is a coalition which encompasses the Portuguese Communist Party and the Ecologist Party, the Greens. It's an arrangement which has been in place since the late 1980s and was preceded by similar coalitions. The PCP dates back to 1921 and the First Portuguese Republic. It was driven underground and strongly repressed by the subsequent authoritarian regime, but it nevertheless played an important role in the political resistance. The party's become a household name in Portuguese politics, having enjoyed moderate and consistent support since the return to democracy. While the PCP was once a strong opponent of the European Union, its Eurosceptic discourse has gradually softened. It supports Portugal's withdrawal from the Eurozone, and it opposes further European integration while supporting the reform of the EU towards a union of communist nation-states. And of course, the PCP has a strong commitment to international socialism. The party champions the protection of workers, advocating for the increase of the minimum wage to 850 euros per month, employment protection, the nationalization of key industries, and public spending to the benefit of citizens, even when that clashes with the prevailing stability and growth pact. It has traditionally been socially conservative, predominantly standing strongly against euthanasia. Its social conservatism is becoming less clear in the 21st century, however, as the PCP has increasingly voted alongside more liberal lines on issues such as abortion and IVF. The party's been led since 2004 by Jeronimo de Souza, a steelworker turned trade unionist. He's been a member of the Portuguese parliament on and off for the last 40 years having also ran an unsuccessful campaign for the highest office, the President of the Portuguese Republic, the party has no formal leader but is instead run by an executive commission. Partido Ecologista Os Verdes, PEV, constitute the minority member of the coalition. The party has its origins in the same milieu as the PCP, stemming from the dissolution of the fractitious coalitions of left-leaning parties and movements. Um, but this political reorganization took place in the early 1980s, at a time where ecologist concerns were being brought to the forefront in some of the more left-leaning parties. The PEV became a formalization of that movement. As such, they're also strongly a left-wing party and share many of the same values as its communist running mate, but nevertheless put a greater emphasis on the all-encompassing fight against climate change, from energy transition to transport, education, and plastic use. They're also a pacifist organization, calling for the withdrawal from NATO and opposing a European army, and explicitly defending equal rights for the LGBTI community. Its most prominent figure is its long-standing parliamentary group leader, Elosia Apollonia, a jurist who has been an MP since 1995. On the European level, PCP is a member of the European United Left Nordic Green Left Group, while the PEV is a member of the European Green Party and of the Greens European Free Alliance Group. People, Animals, Nature, PAN Pessoas Animais Natureza, People, Animals, Nature, is an animal welfareist party which advocates for animal rights and protection under the law, moving towards an environmentally friendly economy, the abolition of bullfighting, and promoting a more eco-friendly lifestyle for people, such as healthy non-carnivorous diets, the promotion of organic products, and the progressive elimination of mass poultry egg production. Founded in 2009 as the Party for the Animals, 
Japan is one of the few political animal rights parties to achieve electoral success. Japan elected its first representative in the 2011 Madeira regional elections. In 2014, the party became Pessoas Animais Natureza, making explicit their socially liberal strand. In the 2015 general election, PAN became the newest party to enter the Portuguese parliament and the second animal welfare party in Europe to gain national parliamentary representation. Recently, PAN won one seat in the 2019 European Parliament elections, a result that exceeded the expectations of the public and professional opinion writ large. The party's current leader is the 43 year old Andre Silva. He's a civil engineer specializing in architectural and artistic heritage. He was once the vice president of the Linea SOS Estudiante, a suicide prevention academic association in Coimbra, where he graduated from his studies. He joined PAN in 2012, integrating its national political commission in 2013, and became the leader of the party in 2014. He later became the first ever elected PAN MP in 2015. PAN is one of the founding parties of the European animal rights movement, Animal Politics EU. It currently sits with the Greens European Free Alliance Group.